fellow MIG Towers, Red Pillars, male rights activists, and female male rights activists. Thank you for tuning in. This is the Music Man. Today's topic is brought to you by my first donation from my student in Chicago, Elder Shaman Patrick John Coleman. He wanted me to talk about how psychopaths get in a position to do their will. In psychology, there is a saying, psychopaths never reform, they just become more manipulative. Psychopaths have to do their will psychopathically, which means they conceal their true selves and reveal themselves strategically. If you rely on a psychopath to tell you the truth about themselves, they will lie to you and manipulate you. This is why women, who oftentimes themselves are psychopaths, are terrible judges of character. Women will choose a mate that tells them a pretty lie over one that tells them the ugly truth. But oftentimes, with women, relationship isn't even an option unless it begins, the relationship, that is, with a lie. You have to agree to believe something about her that isn't true, like she's a fairy princess, or she's a witch with magical abilities, or she has a sixth sense about things that will always trump reason and evidence. One lady I knew had an alien friend in another dimension that would interrupt our conversations and confirm or deny things that I had told her. Sometimes, in order to attract the woman, you have to tell her something about yourself that isn't true. Like, you are a stripper, or a millionaire, or a spy, or a Reiki master that does aura cleansings on kicked puppies. Sometimes the relationship itself can be a lie. Like, the two of you are some ancient couple, star-crossed lovers from a past life, reincarnated to finally get it right. And don't let people fool you. Atheists, scientists, and supposedly rational people have as many lies in their relationships as anybody else. But what we are really here to talk about today is how psychopaths do what I refer to as bypassing the threat filter. Due to a cognitive bias humans have, we have a tendency to think that other people think like us, which means if you aren't a psychopath, you have a tendency to think that other people are also not psychopaths. But psychopaths are closetedly narcissistic, and in order to feel superior to you, they have to feel different from you. Which means, they know you don't think like them, and they're counting on it. In order to manipulate you to your injury, the psychopath has to get in your blind spot. The blind spot is the place in your psyche where you no longer are critical of or distrust the psychopath. You take everything they tell you as gospel. In order to position themselves there, they need you to categorize them as good, harmless, a superior, or an authority, or some other rhetorical tautology of being feminine. What is interesting is that women in relationship have the exact opposite inclination. The phrase, familiarity breeds contempt, must have been written about women and psychopaths. Because as the relationship continues, both seem to get increasingly suspicious and reify to themselves their moral superiority over you, and their right not only to judge you, but also to punish you with acts of emotional abuse in the form of passive aggression and sabotage, and they also feel that they have the right to fine you, or extract a fee from you. So what Jedi mind tricks do psychopaths use to hypnotize you into being their voodoo zombie puppet? A series of strategies that mothers use on children. Strategies designed to get you used to jumping through their hoops and seeing things from their perspective. Interestingly, having recognized the weapons in the psychopath's arsenal, if you try to use those same strategies on them, you will find that they do not participate. This shows some level of conscious awareness on the part of the psychopath that they are intentionally creating disparate impact in their favor. We are going to point out some of the strategies that psychopaths use to get into your blind spot and bypass your threat filter. Psychopaths will force the frame that you should be able to read their mind and you should be reading their mind. Now let me make it clear, if you are in a relationship, both parties should understand each other. But if you are in a relationship that requires the following of a leader, one person's perspective is more important than the other's. 
but psychopaths, in spite of who should be leading, will always force the frame that you should be reading their mind and looking from their perspective. Psychopaths will force the frame that they are always the cause of the good and you are always the cause of the bad. They will operate as though everything they do is good because they are the ones doing it. This presupposes that goodness is an essence that is part of their identity and they can exude goodness just as one would turn on a flashlight. Psychopaths will also refuse to admit when they have made a mistake, editing their consideration sets to only look at how they are correct. Psychopaths use a strategy I call jingling the keys. That is, they will bring up a subject, often repeatedly, argument ad nauseum, in order to control the focal point of your attention and then communicate emotional data to you as to how they want you to feel about the subject and what they want you to do. There are other strategies that psychopaths use. These are only some of them. But that is all we have time for today. Thank you for tuning in. This is the Music Man, and I just rang your bell.